Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpentex Special Forces and that mining rig is loud. Uh, today I am upgrading the NAS. I uh, got some hard drives here from a job that I did for a client. So no money spent. I know the argument is going to come from a couple people in the comments, but needless to say today's video, all we're doing is adding more storage to my NAS. Currently it's being utilized as not only a storage solution, for my home but also for chia plots and we're adding four more but i only have three here right now 16 terabyte hard drives these are the arsenal series uh not renewed or anything like that brand new from a client and in order to get four plus four in this case which is using a z390 you know regular motherboard is not a server or anything like that we're going to use a sas card i actually got a pretty good deal on this and then going to be splitting out the mini SAS ports out to four SATA with these connectors. I'll have everything linked in the description below. Additionally, because I'm running so many of these hard drives in this old style case, uh, we do need to dampen it a little bit. Now, it's not as bad as say, for example, uh, 10K drives or above uh, where the mechanical drives vibration can affect one another or cause uh, you know, mechanical parts to fail over time uh, so I got these little screws same thing I had last time if you guys watched the channel this NAS uh, was featured on there uh, you can check that video if you want to but yeah we're just upgrading the storage and we're gonna use a SAS card to allow us the capability to install multiple hard drives on here but one thing I'm concerned about is power so I'm gonna get started on installing everything and show you the final result but uh, nothing Alright guys, so we're pretty much set up. I am missing my fourth drive. I'm not sure where it is. I'll find it, but you can see that we're pretty much full. So the 412 terabytes are at the bottom, 316 terabytes, and then the uh, last one's going to go up here. I'll figure out something. It, it, it's, I'll figure out a way to stabilize it or mount it there, but it's basically going to go in an old 5.25 bay. And yeah, it's really clustered in there. Now, if you notice, some of the wires of the mini SAS to SATA connections are disconnected right now. That's only because uh, the controller was giving me issues. I just figured it out. So upon boot up, there's a screen. It's gonna initialize or get set up and then you gotta go into the configuration and go from there. Once you're inside the configuration, you basically can set it up however you want. Uh, the best way to set it up is I'm gonna put four 16 terabytes in one volume uh, or one group, disc group, and then I'm gonna put the 12s in one disc group. Uh, but I need to find that last 16. But once you configure it, which is actually pretty easy, um, you just come into Windows and Disk Management, and you should get that pop-up window to initialize disk. You know, choose the usual uh, GPT partition, it gets all set up and then kind of go from there. You could see it cut down some of the size, which is standard, but now I can create a new simple volume. Uh, before I even continue on with this, I'm literally gonna go try to find that other 16 terabyte and throw it in here. But let me show you as I restart real quick, the initial issues I was bumping into so we could wrap up here. All right, so you see that LSI Mega Raid and it's going ahead and initializing the devices. Now, on initial setup, you just need to hit C. It's gonna pop up here in a minute, but I just needed to hit C and I would go into the configuration. In this case, I'm gonna have to hit, I think, Control H to get back into it. It'll show it at the bottom here. Yep, Control H for web BIOS. It's gonna load this up, All right? So start. And I just want to show you real quick how I, how I pretty much did it, right? So I had to create this first. If I wanted to, I can pretty much uncreate it, but go to configuration wizard. You can create a new one. You can clear what you have there, or you can just add a configuration. 
Um, let me just show add real quick. I did choose redundancy when possible. So it's basically a raid, uh, excuse me, a, no redundancy. It's a raid zero basically, so faster. Uh, manual configuration. You can choose the automatic, but I chose the manual. And then what you have to do is you have to select the drives in here. When I get the, the 12s hooked back up and that 116 that I'm missing, they're all gonna show up right here and I'm going to have to group them up. So the 416s together and the 412s together, add array, and then you gotta accept the group or drive group. It's, in, it's gonna say like accept DP, add that, hit next, and then here, you know, we just select from the drop down. There's gonna be two groups. We're gonna select from the drop down. The cool thing is it's gonna say like R1, R5, R6, whatever's available on that array. Uh, which is RAID and RAID versions. Uh, obviously, we don't see it right now, but what's cool is you can select it and set it up however you want, and then we just add to span and then go from there. If you mess up, you can always hit reclaim and go back, but once you get to that, that end part there, it's pretty much um, initializing, set up, and then that's where we boot up into Windows, right? So you're gonna have your drive showing up here. If they're not green, or they say unconfigured, they still have to be set up. So I got them all configured and everything. I restarted the system, had a few issues uh, that was related to my BIOS, basically uh, issues with storage options. So I made a few adjustments there and everything was good. I actually, had, you gotta make sure that the legacy boot or legacy um, option is available for your storage solutions. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanna share it with you. So I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna initialize that disc cause I'm just gonna wipe it again once I get the other 16 in here. But four 16s up top, four 12s in the bottom. And we're using the SAS card uh, with two mini SAS ports that allows us to connect out four hard drives per cable. So this is gonna be where I'm gonna stop. Again, most of these parts I already had, like the 9600K, uh, I did have to get second hand, but I already had the motherboard, I already had the memory, uh, already had the power supply, already had the CPU cooler, already had the 12 terabyte hard drives and these 16 terabytes I picked up from a client, really, really cheap, just leftovers basically, which uh, I'm pretty sure they don't understand how much they could have gotten for these hard drives. But either way, that's neither here or there. Do me a favor guys, on the way out, hit the like button, subscribe for additional content like this. Don't forget the notification bell, as well as check out some of the various links in the description that help support the channel. You guys have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.